This next emulator is the X-Ace, uh, which is, emulates the Ace. I'm going to turn the volume down on that. Mm. I still load the screen. So that's still the, this, the spectrum. We'll keep getting back to that later. Why would you turn on while that fast loading? Because you are nostalgic for the past. You yeah. want to be able to listen to those lovely dulcet tones. Plus there were some load screens that some of these things had that were kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is... Why are you emulating old computers on your modern hardware? Because you can. Because you want to. Because I like that stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is, the, uh, this is the Jupiter Ace. The only interesting thing that I'm going to show you about the Jupiter Ace is that it is a computer based on Forth, and I know absolutely nothing about Forth except this <laughs> command, which shows you all the commands that are available in Forth. Go Forth and Conquer. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, this, for a, a machine like the Jupiter Ace that only had 1K of memory, Forth was an excellent choice of language because it gave you about double. <coughs> the capacity that you got under a basic machine. but And it also gave you structured programming, which is a huge plus compared with basic and go to and all over the place. It never really caught on, unfortunately, and only 8,000 units were sold. Were there games for that? 8,000. There were games, there were tapes available for it. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of research on it, unfortunately, um, mostly because I don't know anything about the machine, so. What version of Fort? Whatever one they had with it. I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. Maybe 74. I don't know what the version numbers of Fort are, unfortunately. Uh, well, this is still loading. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to cancel it. It takes a while for it to load. Let's just put it that way. So let's play some games. These are arcade games that are available uh, via main that are freely available that you can download tonight. There are known problems with most of these games, unfortunately. You can play them via keyboard. Some of them are better than others. Fortunately, there's no sound in this particular one, and I really am going to have the sound turned down still. Yeah, you know, you're right, I do. Check it out. This is a prototype called Teeter Torture. You are. No, I won't spoil it right now. You are. But, The problem with the XD is they take a little while to load. You are this little cannon thing at the bottom, and you're trying to get rid of these weights. On either side of you are plungers for that go to a keg of dynamite in the center, inexplicably for whatever reason. If you run into those things, you, you die. I'm just going to sit here and let these things fall because you can do that. But if one of those plungers hits the very bottom, you, know that you're you blow up. <coughs> that, my friends, is what passed for a game back in those days. <laughs> this is a, a much more superior game. This is called Victory, which I think actually saw a release. He uses a dial, so I'm going to use the mouse on the computer. And it also has sound. And the sound is working. Are there any questions, by the way? Or? Yeah. I have one that's probably stupid. That's fine. I'm wondering, um, is there a way to play any of these like, online or like multiplayer? Like, there, are, there aren't any online games, but we will get to being able to 
play some of them in a browser. I'll show that. You drive like this? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think the subtitle of this should be Craig Sucks at Games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's still got a high score, so. <laughs> yeah, but Ramy thinks. <laughs> so, let me play one more game on here looping. Vectrex isn't really a computer, but it is an awesome game system. And it is emulated very well in JavaScript. I'm going to turn the overlay down so you can see it. Unfortunately, I don't think it has sound. And my browser is a little slow. But I don't know if you guys remember Mindstorm which was the uh, default game that came on the Ventrax. Basically, it's Asteroids. Oh. Is there a Star Castle? There was a Star Castle up there. I can play that one. If you want to see me suck at that game, I can do that. Star Castle? One, one thing I noticed about this one here was it's vector graphics. Yep. The whole system was vector-based, which made it extremely unique, um, somewhat expensive, and uh, Someone who enjoyed it to the program. Uh, I, I know several people that have programmed it. It's a Z80 machine, based machine. Um, but, yeah, and so that's available, and I'll post a link in there. Uh, the Internet Archive also has several of these things. I didn't mention MESS, which is the, um, I'm going to screw up this acronym as well. Uh, it's an emulation for consoles and for computers. Uh, the reason I did it is its focus isn't really on computer emulation as much as it is console emulation. But scarily enough, I don't know if you remember the AIM 65 that was back in the um, back of ways. Let's see if I can find the picture of it here. Ah, uh, you're gonna be pain, aren't you? Yes, you are. This computer right here, the screen on it is basically a calculator screen with a few extra bits for the diagonals. There's an emulation in MESS for that computer. And I know absolutely nothing about that computer whatsoever. 
it is scary to have this little calculator thing ask you for instructions and you're like, I don't know what the heck to do with this thing. But yeah, so yes, there are emulations available for MES. I just didn't really cover it because it's not really its focus. Right. Wasn't that based? Was that based on the Rockwell AIM chip? Yes, it was. It was yeah. AIM sixty-five. Internet Archive. I'll touch on this really brief. There's several things that it has. Whether these are legal or not, it's a library. Um, so generally speaking, libraries get better permissions than you or I do about preservation because that's their business. <coughs> Now, they don't let you actually download any of the ROMs uh, from here. At least, uh, they don't. They don't <coughs> let you download any of the ROMs from there. What could you Oh, that's just This is one that you're probably not going to see outside of a, a compilation disk because Activision, Activision um, goes out of their way to make sure that their stuff doesn't show up. Um, I'll show you one other site. Spectrum. I wish more forums were like this, and I wish more communities were like this. They actually went through, asked all of the developers um, if they could have their permission. Most of the developers have given their permission, so they have, I would consider, one of the largest